Well, we played really well tonight, and we played well from start to finish uh, against a really good team. They're so, hey, uh, Joanne Scott is a superstar. So, working for the NCAA, the Final Four is better as a result of her coming in, and the Dream Team was pretty good as a result of her working with her. Um, we, uh, you know, playing Indiana, they're such an explosive offensive team. They, uh, uh, Farrell's one of the best guards in the country. And he sets these guys up so well. And in the limited amount of time we have for practice, I mean, that, that's what we practiced on. It, you know, just so we would try to cut down on his assists. He had five, he had five, but you know, in some games he could have 12. And they could end up being, you know, 36 points because they, he kicks it out for those threes. And then uh, we did a pretty good job on Blackman and not, you know, he only had four threes. And, you know, he's one of the best three-point shooters. And, and Williams is one of the best athletes. I mean, they're good. And tough team to defend. And we were a tough team to defend. Uh, because we, you know, we have scores, and you know, Brandon started the game so well, and played a really good game, but his start gave us energy. You could, you know, I, uh, these are things you know you you can't see because you're not with a team all the time. And uh, but I'm going to tell you one of the great things about our group is how happy our upperclassmen are when the freshmen do well. It's unbelievable. It, it, it's unbelievable. And you could see that Brandon's perfect. They were just so happy for him. And, uh, uh, and it got them excited. I, uh, you know, the performance of Matt and Emil was spectacular. I mean, they were just, they were veteran, veteran good players. And, uh, you know, again, we want a big game. You know, we beat a really good team, and uh, I'm proud of my team. This is a tough week for us with uh, the week before exams, and for them to be focused like they had, they were tonight was was uh, terrific. Any questions? What made your team so efficient offensively tonight? Well, we shared the ball well, and you know, the for whatever reason, Emil became like a point guard. You know, it just kind of happened because they they do a bunch of different things defensively. They man, zone, combination, you're playing man, they're in, then they go zone and, you know, and so you need an alert, alert players and Emil in that position as either the, the big guy or the second big was in a position where he had the ball to make plays and uh, he made them. You know, and Emil's been an outstanding player for us. Look, he's averaging a double-double. He's one of the top offensive rebounders in the country, and we don't set anything up for him. And, uh, and so he set things up for, for our guys, and he played really good defense. The, the two veterans, those two kids were sensational tonight, Matt and Emil. I mean, they, you yeah. know. I mean, they're good players. They're not like great talents. They're really good talents, but they played great tonight. I mean, it, it was really fun to watch them compete. Uh, you know, they played off a map to begin with, and you know, John Shire was on shoot it, shoot it, and then shot 11 threes, uh, made five of them, and uh, and uh, and then played his butt off defensively. What what a great veteran performance he had. Mike, it seemed like your team had some feistiness, for lack of a better word, and usually they consider. <coughs> how happy were you to see that energy out of them? Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're trying to get that. We're, I think our kids have had great attitudes and have worked hard the entire season thus far. I mean, it's only eight games old. But, you know, we've been in a lot of good games. But uh, the last game against Utah State, they didn't play well, but I thought we started to see everybody playing the whole game together and uh, th this was a carryover you know like maybe that's what we'll, we can do and you, it's a learned it, it's learned it's learned and how you know 
like you get a little bit of a lead. We had that 13 point lead with a minute to go and we let up. You know, we didn't defend and out of bounds. They had a really good play and uh, hit a three, then they hit another three, and then we we're fortunate that uh, we didn't set up the last thing well, but Grayson made a play. And that's, you know, it could have been a six, eight point turnaround in a minute. We never had that in the second half, which that, that's really good. Who's in trouble? Nothing, sir. No, we're just, <laughs> watch it. He disguises himself. He's a pickpocket. He's got your, <laughs> he's got your wallet right now. But we share. He gives me 40%. I distract, I, I'm, the distra I'm the distractor. He's the guy. It's a, it's a team effort. Mike, um, you, you've gotten off to good starts in the second half of the last year. Yeah, we have. In this one, although you played man 90 Five percent of the game, you, you open the second half briefly in the zone. Yeah, twice. To, yeah, yeah. Give you a little, yeah. Seemed to give you a little. Just. So Charlie's Angels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? We practiced a different, a little bit different way of playing the two-three, where we just. Uh, when our veterans are out there, we can do it because they talk. And when the younger guys come in. They, they can't do it right now. And so we said, just on a make, let's try it a couple times. And it, gave, it got us two possessions. But then we scored. So we got a, a differential there. Um, and a, you know, we'll try that, you know, a few different things like that. That, that worked for two possessions. So. So in a game when people are trying, you know, when feistiness is something you're going after and, and you give bombs at halftime, do you kind of use that to fire people up even more? No, you know, I, did, I didn't even know what the hell happened. All of a sudden, I, boom, I got hit. And where I'm from, usually when you get hit, you do something. I didn't do anything. But I, usually if you got hit, somebody would say, I'm sorry, I ran into you. So all of a sudden, what the hell happened, man? But I didn't tell my team that. I, I'm not... And I didn't want the officials to look at anything. I didn't want, the game's too good to let any, it was probably an accident. You know, I don't blame anybody and I didn't want it to become, that shouldn't be the thing in this game. It, it should be what we're, what we're doing. But our, our team played with feistiness and uh, that was good. Is it, go. is it, the way you guys played tonight, I mean, it seems like this is an evolution of a point you've been trying to get to. Yeah. Is it fair to expect this every night, or is this still part of the work in progress? Well, whether it be fair or not, that's what you will expect. Or, Maybe I'm trying to. And or the the world because it's Duke and me. Uh, I think we have a lot of work to do for that to be a consistent habit. You know. Um, however, we're we're improving, and we haven't gotten injured. So we have to have a balance of, we don't, you know, we really have eight guys. Chase, it was a tough game for Chase to play because they played all perimeter guys. So we gotta keep our team healthy and improve. And that'll be the delicate thing throughout, throughout the year. But uh, this was a big win for us, there's no question. I mean, you know, Indiana is a great school and a, a great tradition not a good tradition, a, a great tradition. You know, we lived there for one year and we're part of it and uh, they love basketball. It's revered and, uh, and it was an honor to play against that program tonight, you know. How much of a while in the second half you're averaging like a, a point and a half per possession, which is phenomenal. How much of that is your offense and how much was their defensive breakdowns? I don't know. You know, we had guys who could break it out, like we spread it out. So we had, you know, I'm sure they would have helped, wanted to play better defense, but we were playing pretty good offense. And, you know, a lot of times their offense was better than our defense, but for a period of time there, we just kind of scored. And uh, I thought we let up defensively when we got the 20 point. Uh, um, we're just kind of trading back and forth, but we kept that differential because it was tough for them to stop us. At one point, at one point, your front court was out rebounding their front court, eighteen to one, a couple minutes in the second half. How big of a point of emphasis was the glass in this game? Well, we thought we could drive and get offensive boards, 
and if we were patient and strong. And we had 19 offensive boards. You know, that was, I think we had like 26 second chance points. And, uh, but another thing, it, even if we didn't get the point, we got the chance to run our offense again. And, uh, you know, you can say, let's get offensive boards and drive. That doesn't mean you're going to do it. And, but our guys did it tonight. Was Brendan's assertiveness tonight uh, uh, the product of him starting to feel a little bit more comfortable? Or is there something else I think he's like? really practiced real hard these last two weeks. You know, about 5 o'clock, right after a tra we have a training meal, about 5.15, after the training meal, Nate worked him out and hard, you know. So he's accustomed to, you know, we knew Indiana would really come in on him and, and uh he, he really responded. He's putting a lot of work in, you know. He's putting a lot of work in. He was, he was outstanding tonight. He missed that one layup, you know, in the second half. But uh, uh, that's still a work in progress, but a good work in, a real good work in progress. Anything Have else? Have you had a chance to reach out to Ja about what he's going to do in the NBA? Yeah, yeah, Spencer, yeah. So. You know, Ja, look, Ja's one of the great kids ever, 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 ever. And, you know, you, you get into the, some situation, you know, he needs to move on. They also need to have security. And, like, when we're with the U.S. team, we have security for everybody because all those guys are targets. And you just got to be smart about that. He was not. He apologized. He's being punished. Look, anybody who pictures that kid as some bad kid, you got to be kidding me. It's one of the most loving good kids that has ever happened on this earth but he, he did a couple stupid things so okay knock him suspend him let's move on but don't characterize him as that he is not that that kid is a special special human being and he's a pretty damn good basketball player in addition to him you mentioned your year at Indiana did you yeah. say anything to your team about that? No. Or what kind of team that was? That's 40. I know. My kids, they're 18. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to tell them about Leave it to Beaver, too? <laughs> <laughs> I never bring up my past to my team. My past is really past. I'm an old guy. You know, they, well, you got to stay in, in their moment. I did not. You know. yeah. By the way, I've always thought you were Eddie Haskell. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>